In this problem is about image formation using a lens combination. A given with the object precision, the nature of the lenses and their focal lengths. We have to find the image nature and its position using ray diagram and numerically. In the development session, we can draw the situation. A convex lens and concave lens are separated by 20 cm. The focal length of convex lens is 5 cm and that of the concave is 10 cm. The object is in front of the convex lens at a distance of 15 cm from, the, from it. To find the image using ray tracing, there are two special rays we take into account. First one is the ray going parallel to the lens axis. Any ray parallel to the lens axis refracts through the focal, focal, focal point. The second special ray is the one going through the center of the lens. This ray will go undeflected. Also, to do the numerical calculation, we need the equation connecting the object distance, image distance and the focal length, which is a thin lens equation, 1 on S plus 1 on S dash equals 1 on F, where S is the object distance, S dash is the image distance and F is the focal length. F is positive for convex lens and negative for concave lens. The object distance and the image distance can be positive or negative depending on the situation. The magnification can be obtained from the object and image distance using the equation m equals minus s dash on s. In the evaluation step, we can start drawing the special rays we mentioned in the developed stage. The ray parallel will be after refraction going through the focal point and the one through the center will be going undeflected. Now they both meet at this point. So that's where the tip of the arrow is imaged. As the other end of the arrow is sitting on the lens axis, that point will be on the lens axis itself. You can find why by trying to draw the above mentioned special rays. If if this end was not on the lens axis then you have to trace that point as well. So we get an inverted diminished and real image at this point. This image will then be acting as the image of the second concave lens. As it is a diverging lens, ray going parallel to the lens axis will appear to be coming from the focal point of it. The ray going through the center of the lens goes undeflected. Now we can see that these rays don't converge after refraction to the lens and hence we need to backtrace the rays to see where exactly they meet to form the virtual image. We can now see that the virtual image is formed. This image is not inverted compared to its object and looks even smaller compared to the initial object. The image is awarded, diminished and virtual. We now need to confirm the results using the numerical calculations. We are using the thin lens equation 1 on s plus 1 on s dash equals 1 on f here. For the first lens s equals 15 cm and it is positive. As it is a convex lens, the focal length is plus 5 cm. We can rearrange this equation to get S dash as SF on S minus F. We can now substitute the values to get S dash equals 7.5 centimeters. So this is a positive number confirming we are getting a real image here. The magnification can be evaluated using 
m equals minus s dash s which is equal to minus 7.5 on 15 which is equal to minus half the negative means image is in water and the magnification of 0.5 means the size is reduced to half these are actually true according to our red diagram now this image is acting as the object of the second lens and now this is located at 12.5 from the concave lens the object distance of the second lens is plus 12.5 centimeters so s2 equals 12.5 centimeters the focal length of the concave lens is negative and f2 equals minus 10 centimeters so the image distance is s dash equals s2 f2 and s2 minus f2 which when uh, putting the values becomes minus 5.5 the negative means it is a virtual image confirming our red diagram now the magnification for this lens is m2 equals minus s2 dash on s2 which is minus so plus 0.44 so this image is small and not inverted compared to its object so compared to the initial object the final image is inverted as the inversion happens only once and as both lengths diminish the size of the object the final image will be small too Finally, we can do a quick assessment. We've done the ray diagram and numerical calculation and they both agree each other and hence the answer makes sense. Converging lens produces a real inverted image when the object is outside the focal point and real images form on the side of the lens which is opposite to the object. These two are true here. Diverging lens produces a virtual image and that will have the same orientation as the object. Also, virtual images form on the same side of the object.